In this video, I will show you guys how I made $5,000 by day trading options on Tesla and that too within the first 7 minutes of market open. Let's first start with my game plan for the day that I post every single market open day on our Discord group. On 23rd of May, that was a Monday start of a new week. I was watching two stocks. I was watching Amazon and Tesla along with the overall market, the ES futures or the SPX index. I was watching the market, the overall market. I don't trade uh, SPX quite often, but on this day I was watching it because on Friday, the market actually dropped more than 20% on Friday briefly for a few hours and that is kind of categorized as the bear market. So the market entered the bear market territory for a few hours before the market was bought back up pretty aggressively. At the end of the day on Friday, we had a pretty strong move towards the upside. That's why the futures and the SPX index are very, very volatile these days. And if you focus on the five minutes chart, we have been holding this $3950 level as resistance on the futures for the past few days. So I was watching the break of 3950 towards the upside or a break and hold of 3910 towards the downside. These were the two levels I was watching on the overall market and the SPX index. Now coming to the stocks, I was watching on this day, I was watching Amazon and Tesla. Amazon for the break of yesterday high towards the upside, the break of 2200 towards the upside because this 2200 dollars level has been holding as quite a strong resistance for the past two days or I was watching the break of 2100 towards the downside that is the yesterday low. Now coming to Tesla because my trade on this day right around the first few minutes of the market open was on Tesla. So Tesla had a very nice sell-off on Friday last week. Tesla broke the $700 level. It was kind of making a triangle on the hourly chart. And then we broke down and it made a low of the day around $640. That means Tesla moved around $60 to $70 towards the downside in one single day, which is an insane move on this stock. After that huge move towards the downside, Tesla was kind of making this triangle on Friday. That was the last trading day and then it broke towards the upside at the end of the day. In the pre-market, even though the futures were holding green, so that is very important, the ES futures and the NQ futures were holding green in the pre-market session, but Tesla was holding red for the day in the pre-market. So that means Tesla is holding comparatively weaker than the market. And that is the reason I mentioned this in our daily game plan, that Tesla is holding weaker than the tech futures and the pre-market, I was watching 650 and 640 towards the downside. And if the market pushes towards the upside, I was also watching the break of 670 or 680 towards the upside. But ideally, I was watching for a play towards the downside because Tesla, again in the pre-market, was holding comparatively weaker than the overall market. Now here's a one day chart of Tesla. So before we jump onto my entries and exits, let's take a look at the daily chart and see what Tesla has been doing for the past few days and why I was watching Tesla on this day in my game plan. If you guys want access to my daily game plan, you can join our Discord group. The link will be in the description box below. I post my daily game plan. We have webinars every single market open day before the market opens. And we also trade on voice one to two times a week. On the daily chart on Tesla, that is a higher time frame. We can also take a look at the weekly chart. But on the daily chart, we have been selling off quite aggressively for the past few weeks. Tesla failed to make a new all-time high right here. We had a bearish move towards the downside made a flag pattern, another bearish move, made a flag pattern. And for the past, I would say two weeks, we sold off again. And last week, I would say majority of the days last week, we were kind of consolidating in this triangle. So this is the daily chart breakdown. The triangle is not very clean on the daily chart, but that's why we have to go now further down. And that is the approach I follow. I first take a look at the weekly chart, then the daily chart, then the hourly chart, then the 15 minutes, five minutes, and the one minute chart. On the hourly chart, we can clearly see that after the recent push towards a downside, Tesla was kind of making this triangle. This is called a bear pennant strategy. We had a bearish move towards a downside. For the past few days on the hourly chart, we are consolidating in this triangle. Finally, on Friday last week, we broke this triangle towards a downside. I had a very good day on Friday as well. I was able to make approximately $4,000 by catching this drop towards a downside. But on Monday this week, I was watching Tesla because Tesla was holding weaker than the market. I was watching the break of 650 towards a downside because still there's a lot of bearish sentiment on this stock and we have been selling off like no tomorrow for the past few weeks. So guys, here's a one minute chart of Tesla from 23rd of May, 2022. And if we see 
and if we take a look at the pre-market action we can clearly see a bounce of the 661 dollars level right here and then later in the morning around 7 45 a.m this is in the pre-market again we had a break of this level and we had a very nice push towards a downside after that push tesla was holding this 661 dollars level that it was holding as support it was now holding the same level as resistance just before the market opened, Tesla was then holding the $659 level as resistance and it was holding the $655 level as support. So we just saw the daily chart of Tesla. On the daily chart, Tesla had a very nice push towards a downside. On the hourly chart, Tesla broke a bear pennant towards a downside on Friday. On the 5-minute chart and on the 1-minute chart in the pre-market session, Tesla is holding comparatively weaker than the market. Even though the futures were holding green, Tesla was holding red in the pre-market. That's why as a day trader, right at the market open, I'm going to look at these levels, 659, 661 and 665. I'm going to see if Tesla is stronger or weaker than the market, if the bits are able to hold it above 660 or not. If not, I want to take my short position. I want to buy puts. That means if the stock goes towards a downside, I'm going to make money on my puts position. And my trade idea is to enter on the pullback, enter at the hold of a level and catch the break of 650 towards a downside because 651 approximately was the pre-market low. So if we get some selling momentum under the pre-market low, there's a high chance we might break 650 and have a very nice flush towards a downside. And that is the exact trade I took on this day because my entry entry on this day was at 9.31 a.m. candle right here. When I saw that Tesla is failing to hold above VWAP, the tape is looking very, very weak around $655 level. Tesla tried to break the pre-market low right at the market open. It failed. It tried to break the VWAP towards the upside. It failed again. And then when I saw the weakness on the tape around $655 level, I placed my order. I got filled 10 contracts. I was trading 650 puts, same week expiry contracts. And I took my trade right here on the hold of a level with the best entry in the world and my stop loss on this trade was that if Tesla breaks the VWAP I'm gonna exit my position so my stop loss on this trade was very very small if it makes a new high of the day I'm gonna exit my position if we see the break of the VWAP I'm gonna exit my position and I got a really good move towards a downside for the break of 650 640 I was very patient in taking my profits so now let's jump on to the trade recording of this trade and look at my entries and exits but before we do that make sure that you guys give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and hit the bell notifications to stay up to date with my trading journey so guys here's a recording of my trade on tesla so tesla within the first one minute tesla held this pre-market low dollars level but it got rejected from the vwap and i was looking at a lot of weakness around 655 dollars level this is very important because right at the open you don't have the candle closing right so you have to focus on the tape and the good thing about tape is that more you learn to read the tape it just gets better with time and experience. In this instance, even though we saw a lot of green on the tape, Tesla is failing to hold towards the upside because ideally in the perfect world, when you see a lot of green on the time and sales, that means the people are hitting the ask price. You want the bits to step up and the ask to step up again and you want the stock to go towards the upside. But in this case, for the past few seconds, I would say for the past 20, 30 seconds, we were seeing a lot of green around 656 and $657 level, but the bits are failing to hold above 655. So even though the buyers are trying to push it towards the upside, every time they are failing and we are not seeing that buying momentum towards the upside, that we should see when you see a lot of green on the time and sales. And that is the reason I placed my order to get filled. I got filled 10 contracts. I was trading 650 puts, same week expiry contracts, and my fill price is 29.45. Because my trade idea is that the buyers are failing to take it towards the upside, even though buyers are trying very, very hard, they are not able to take it above the VWAP. So if we see a rejection from 655, we might see the break of low of the day and the pre-market low. And if we get some selling momentum under the pre-market low, we might see the break of 650 and a very good flush towards a downside. That is my profit target on this trade. My stop loss on this trade is that if Tesla makes a new high of the day, if Tesla breaks the VWAP, that will be my stop loss. So I was expecting to lose around $1,000 to $1,500 on this trade. That is approximately $100 a contract. So guys, let's now jump on to my exits on this trade. As I told you guys, my entry was right here. On the next one minute, we had a big doji right here. 
here. So Tesla tested $651 level, but then it posed towards the upside. I was kind of scared on this trade because the next one minute was very, very wicky. It was moving six to $7 in one candle, but I still held on to my position because I just accepted the risk. My entry was at 655. My stop loss is at 658 and my profit target has to be at least the break of 650. And I held and I waited for the break of 650 before taking my first partial. You guys will see on this trade, I was very, very, very patient on this trade. Even after the break of 650, I did not take my partials because I was not seeing any buying momentum on this stock. But at the break of 645 right here, when Tesla broke 645, I took my first five contracts out right here at a full price of 33.74. So my premiums moved approximately $400, which makes it a very, very good risk to reward trade. After taking my first partial out, I was expecting a retest of $650 level because that is a very good psychological level. Now my stop loss on the remaining contracts is that if Tesla comes back above the pre-market low, I will exit my position. But we can clearly see when Tesla tested $650 level right here, we again saw a flush towards the downside so that was just a retest of $650 level before the next post towards the downside. I was still left with three of my contracts but I felt like I have juiced most of this position because we had a crazy post towards the downside so I was expecting a bit of a very harsh pullback on this trade because if the stock goes down like this it can also come up like a V reversal and that's what we are seeing a lot these days. A lot of stocks and the overall market as well these days it's making V reversals. That means that the stock will go towards a downside it will have a V reversal towards the upside. If the stock is going towards the upside, we will have a V reversal towards the downside. And that's why I was not very keen on getting stuck in one of these reversals. That's why I covered the remaining three contracts at a fill price of 34.52 overall making around $4,800 on this trade within the first seven minutes of market open. Let's now take a look at my PL. So guys, here's my PL for the day. In total on this day, I took two trades. My first trade was on Tesla. My second trade was on SPX. On SPX, I will do a quick recap. As I told you guys, in this market, we are seeing a lot of V reversals. We had a V reversal on SPY. On the pullback to the VWAP, I entered my calls position and I caught this move towards the upside, making approximately $500. Overall, ending the day with making $5,300 in the green, making $4,800 within the first seven minutes and overall making $5,300 within the first 25 minutes of market open, which is an amazing day for me personally and a very good start to the week. That's it guys. But before you go, make sure that you guys give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell notifications to stay up to date with my trading journey and to learn more about day trading. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, I already posted about this day on my Instagram. The link will be in the description box below. Thank you for watching and I will see you guys in the next video video.